Pterodactyl here. And elk skins. And today's how-to video is gonna be changing the hydrostatic fluid on this here Craftsman GT green booger that elk skins owns. He owns this tractor. This is yep. his green booger. So we're gonna change the hydro fluid on it. This has got a hydro gear transmission in it. And we're gonna show you how to change the fluid. And there's a filter on it, an oil filter. So what do we need to do first? Uh, we you first have to locate and figure out what your transmission is. But uh, for uh, the filter, it's kind of hard to find it because the manuals, the older ones, don't show the filter. And then like 95, 96, they start showing the filter. But it's this filter here. That we got for Stens. Yeah, 120 380. And there's the AYP part number. I wrote it in 142912. And what else is on there? X Mark and oh, Toro. Okay. And it does say transmission oil filter. And uh, if we come to the computer, I'll show you a couple things. Here from. This is a manual for the Sears. It says the transmission is a sealed unit, basically. So the fluid maintenance is not required for the life of the transmit axle. Well, that's just basically to try to get you to buy another tractor later on the road. So, I did some digging. And here is one that's very close. The original fluid is 10W40, and then they give you an alternative which will be for extended life and longer intervals, basically. So it's t uh, 15W50, synthetic oil, engine oil. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much it for that you need to know for right now. So let's get to draining that transmission out. All right, so where we're gonna drain this thing from is right here. It's on the other side of this fitting. See that plug right there? And it uses a quarter inch Allen wrench or Allen socket, which is what we're gonna use right here. So we're gonna need a drain pan. And then here's the oil filter right here. We took the wheel off to make it easier to see. So that's up to you. If you wanna try to change yours, you can do it without taking the wheel off. But it just makes it easier to, for Mr. Cameraman to get in there. So where's that pan at, Elkskin? Right down here. Oh, there it is. Knucklehead. I'll be the one throwing the insult around. <laughs> this thing isn't going to fall on us, is it? Shouldn't. You sure it's quarter inch? That plug don't want to come out. Let's try this one. Get me a hammer. That drain plug is in there. Well, there is one other option to drain the fluid, and that's disconnecting that bottom hose. This plug ain't coming out, elk skins. Let me try tapping on it. Sometimes that'll loosen it up.
Gotta shock it. There we go. So there you go. If you have trouble getting it out like I did, bang on the end of it. Yeah, from the looks of the filter, it's never had an oil change. No. Most people don't do this. And there's our fluid. Coming out. And then just a regular oil filter wrench. Now this thing doesn't hold much, does it, Elk Skins? Uh, 45 uh, ounces. But if you somehow drain the pump too, it's 65. So there's gonna be some oil that's gonna be trapped in the pump. That you're not gonna be able to get it all out. But if you get most of it out. That's all that matters. And then you could always change it again. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. And then check to make sure that the seal for the old oil filter come off. Because this one was stuck to the face of it. Now let's look at this old filter for a second. Use only approved replacement filter. Okay. And nowhere on this filter does it have anything that tells you what it is or how to find it. And like Elk Skin explained, he couldn't find anything, right? He couldn't right. find anything that told you what filter it took? Only in the manual on certain uh, garden tractors. It's very hard to find that part number. So here, we're helping you out. Elk Skin did the homework for you. So like with any oil filter, got to put some oil on this gasket. And then screw it back on. And then they said to give it three quarters of a turn, it said on that oil filter. Well, I got the wrench on backwards now. I thought I had it on the right way the first time. Oh, that's good. And then we always like to date it. Now, does this thing got an hour meter on it? No. So if it had an hour meter, what is it, about 500 hours they recommend? Every 200. Every 200. But no hour meter, so we're just gonna date it with Mr. Paint Pen. And that's Paint Pen off your bench. Two of 2022. So that way you know in the future when it was last changed. So you don't have to sit there and remember, I just changed that thing like a year ago. And then you go and look at the date and you go, 2022? It's 2030 now. Heck, eight years already since I changed that? I better change it again. So this is an O-ring pipe plug. So it's got an O-ring on it and it already had oil on it. We'll tighten her up. And there's your dinner. So now we gotta fill it. And you know what you gotta do to fill it? Tell them, Elkskins. You gotta pull the fenders, pull the gas tank, and basically you can't actually pull the gas tank on these, you just have to set it off to the side. Because there's no shut off on the bottom. So what does it take to take the fenders off? There's two, two bolts there six, on each side. Yeah, there's two bolts there. There's one bolt there, one bolt in the center, and you got to take your springs off. The two bolts that hold the springs on. Right. So there's two bolts and a bolt here. That's three. And your knob. Three on the other side, and three on the top, where the springs, and one in the center. And then unscrew the shifter knob and disconnect your seat switch. 
Now you might want to get some help taking the fenders off. Is that a new seat? Yes. Wow. What'd that cost? Uh, too much money. You got oh, it? Hold on. What do we got? There we go. Got to get over the gas tank. All right, I got it, Elfkin. Hold on. There we go. All right, you got the... That's why you got to have help sometimes. Yeah, I'll put this old... Oh, almost tripping over wires. Slid the gas tank out of the way, okay. and then we're filling it where? We fill it through this vent tube? Yes. And the vent tube is all snaked up and around here. I did that. They had it hanging out over by the wheel, and I didn't like that. So you routed it up through there? Yes. It's out of the way. But not, it's away from the belt, though. Right. Somebody did do a write-up on how to do it, but they didn't really go full detail. There's supposed to be a fill port below the brake, or a level port, not a fill port. You know, to make sure you don't get it overfill, right below the brake on the left side. So. But we're just gonna measure out. Right, uh, 45 ounces. And then we're just gonna pour 45 ounces in. Right. Another thing you could do is whatever you drained out of it, as long as you know it was full. Right. You could pour this into a container that you're able to measure and see how much was in there. Then you can pour the right amount back in. And Terrell, we're gonna also put some of this in. Why? Because you don't know uh, how much time was on this. Plus, if you read it, it says, the perfect solution for Warren hydraulic systems and transmissions in older products. Plus, it also does the perfect prevention maintenance product for new equipment. All right, so we're gonna put some of this hydraulic booster stop leak in there? Yes, just as a precautionary. Use up to 20%. Five to 10 to 20%. So we'll go 10%. Okay. So 10% of 45 ounces would be four and a half ounces. All right. So we'll put four and a half ounces of this and 40 ounces of oil, and that, that'll bring us to 44 and a half ounces. All right, to get this vent tube cap off, you just work it around with a screwdriver to get it to pop loose from the uh, hose. Because you see, there's the hose. So I'm gonna measure out the booster first, and I got this little measuring cup, which I think was from uh, some kind of weed killer or something. So I kept it. So instead of going four and a half ounces, we're just gonna, it'd be easier to go five ounces. So we're gonna go a little bit, a little bit over the 10%. Now this stuff is thick, like syrup. Look at it. So we're gonna measure out five ounces. And then we're gonna put in the, the oil in here. I got another measuring cup, which measures up to 32 ounces. And then we're gonna add this. So let's see, where am I at right now? I'm at 26, let's go 28. And then we'll add this, so that way it'll go in easier, because this will take forever. And then we'll mix it up real good. And that'll give us our 28 and 5. That'll give us 33 ounces. And now we'll mix it up like we're mixing a cocktail. 
Well, we are. Dinosaur syrup cocktail. The kind of cocktail the transmission loves. Yep. So here's that plug Elkskins was talking about. The level, oil level plug, it's right here. And again, it's quarter inch. So if yours is tough, like the, like the drain plug was, you could take a punch and kind of hit around it. And you're not gonna be able to get one of them Allen sockets in there. You gotta use an Allen wrench. And this is a ball Allen. It's got the ball on the end. So you can get at it at an angle because you can't get a straight shot at it. Now we can take it out. Now the level's dropping like crazy. So that'll also help you when you go to fill it. So Elkskins has got the cocktail juice there, the syrup, and he's going to start pouring it in. Now this thing is sitting a little cattywampus because we took the wheel off. So you're going to want to make sure it's level. You can lower the jack a little bit. Yeah, that's a good idea. And we can level it off. Yeah. That looks about level there, don't it? That yeah. a little low. There we go. Now it'll flow easily. Then we have to burp it too. Like a baby? Uh, well, yeah. You gonna hold it? And then when that's empty, we'll add another 12 ounces to it. And we'll see how close we come to that 45 ounce mark. We'll see if it comes out of there like it's supposed to. Well, there might be some oil that was left in the transmission too since it was tipped. Plus, like I said, we have to still burp it and the level will drop a little bit because the filter has to be filled. How are we doing down there? Nothing coming out yet. I said we're I don't know how low it was either we're 12 ounces under that 45 ounce mark there we go look at that now this 15w50 is kind of hard to find at, at least around here I bought it at um, well advanced had it and also AutoZone had it I couldn't find it at Tractor Supply. You couldn't? Nope. And of course, Walmart's too far away. I couldn't check there. So where are we at, Terrell? It ain't coming out yet. So we still gotta add more. So it needs more than 45 ounces. So you might as well just pour it right out of the jug. Oh, listen, listen uh -oh. to all that racket. They coming for you? No. Did you do anything bad? No. I've been here all day. All right, here it comes. All right. So how much more do you think? Took a little bit more? Down to about a half, so I'm not sure. All right. So like you said, we got to let it fill the filter. So we got a couple ounces coming out. So I'm going to go ahead and put the plug back in. And then we'll burp it. And then we'll pull this plug back out and see if it any more comes out. All right, to burp this or um, purge it, purge it, you got to put the release on. All right, this right here is to just normal drive it, but push it up as far as you can get it, put the clip back on, and that's released. So you can push it around, push right. it breaks down. All right. Get that 
swing that around. So were there two more bolts that held this on to that you yes. had to take off that yes. you failed to mention? Because you had this already all pre-disassembled. Right. So there's two more bolts here to take this bracket off to get the gas tank off. All right, push down the parking brake on. See how much we dropped. I can see. Well, you got your glasses on, you should be able to see. Well, it's dark in there. <laughs> I'm going to drop you like a bad habit. <laughs> All right, still coming out. All right, then we're good. Don't let it level off? Eh, should be fine, though. Well, it seems like it's it. a little full. Yeah, and we're at an angle. But. Let it down a smidge. That's good. All right, we're at that's, a That's going to let more out. Wait till it slows down. And remember, we're pouring that oil through that long hose. So as it's filling up, and it's draining through that hose, you know, you're gonna overfill it a little bit. That's right. All right, that's good. See how it's slowing down? So that'll be enough. A lot of these transmissions will find their own level. So if you did overfill it, it's just going to puke it out of the vent tube. But this one with it being so long, a vent tube, it won't do it. How do you know? Because. Well, you overfilled one before and it didn't do that? No. All right, nice and tight. All right, Elkskins. So now you can put the wheel back on and the seat and all that stuff. And we'll see if this thing will, if it'll dry. Oh yeah. No. No, it ain't gonna work. How do you know? No, it'll work. <laughs> you drove it in here. All right. It better work, or this thing's gonna be in the parking lot. So I got a little tarot tip for you here. Whenever you're struggling with these wheels, especially this wheel that's got this wheel weight on it, it's real heavy and you got these goofy lug bolts instead of lug nuts. These are 7 16 coarse thread. So it's 7 16 14. So you got a couple options. You can go to the hardware store, get a bolt, cut the head off, make a stud, 
hang the wheel on that stud so that it'll help you line it up to put these bolts in or go to the hardware store get some 7 16 14 bolts thread them in from the back side tighten them up and then get some 7 16 14 lug nuts which these are off of a, a cup tractor cadet. cub cadet yes yeah, these are Scrub Cadet ones. And there's a part number if you Google it. And then you can have studs so you're not struggling with these wheels and these stupid lug bolts that they got. All right, so all we gotta do is put the wheel back on and then we can do what? Fire it up, fire it up, fire it up. Shut up. Why? You're annoying. <laughs> But I love you. <laughs> Alright, put the wheel on. I ain't doing it. I'm an old man. <sighs> Subscribe to this YouTube channel, Terrell Fixes All. This is me, Terrell. Get yourself some Terrell apparel. This is one of our new shirt designs. And then also, subscribe to Elkskin's Mower Junkyard, where Elkskin's will keep you updated on this mower that he's got, this plow tractor. There's already videos of it. And then he'll keep you updated on that, because I know some of y'all are going to be saying, you just, you just poured that that additive in there, elk skins, and you just ruined that transmission. No, he didn't ruin it, it'll be fine. It's, oh, I prefer it. <laughs> and then follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I don't know about him, you don't have an Instagram, do you? No. Good. <laughs> follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Go to our web store, like I said, get yourself some Terrell apparel. And as always, there's your dinner! Woo! Changing the fluid on elk skins! High grow! This thing's a beast, ain't it? Oh yeah. This thing can plow some snow, can it? Oh yeah. Better than Snowzilla? Ah, I wouldn't put it that far. Yeah, that's right. I got that's, that's more weight in the back. I got, got shaft, I got shaft drive over belt drive. Yeah, well that's a cast iron transmission. This ain't. It's a nice tractor, though. Oh, yeah. It'll be nice for the summer. <laughs> this is one of my many projects. All right, now get it out of my shop. I want to go home. All right, me too.